When we process financial transactions in the SAP system, we need to store different values. Let's say we go to transaction code FB60, the same also counts for Fiori application, and here you can see we need to insert a vendor, reference data, amounts, and so on and so forth. What we actually need to fill, so what kind of parameters we need to set here, this depends on the so-called field status. So whether a field is mandatory, suppressed, or optional, depends on the field status we set, either in the so-called posting keys, as you've seen last time. However, there's also another approach to define the field status, which is not based on the posting keys, but on the accounts. So you know that we use GL accounts in our financial transactions. Let's just display one via slash OFS00. And here under create bank interest, you will find the so-called field status group. Let's double click on this one. And here you can see this field status group will also decide about the field status of the different fields that we can maintain during the financial transactions. This field status group is defined and customizing via slash and SPRO, subreference IMG, financial accounting, financial accounting global settings, ledgers, fields, define field status variants. Let's click on this one. So all of the field status groups are assigned to so-called field status variants. So first of all, we define a variant, which is nothing else than a four character alphanumeric key and a description. And once we defined it, you can do it via this button over here. We select it and then we click on field status groups with a double click. And here you can see all the field status groups assigned to this field status variant. So all of those over here, you will also find in our general ledger account. So in our case, it was G005, but you would also find all of the others. You can select this one and click on field status. And then you can see the structure you have seen before for the posting keys again. So we double click on general data, for instance, and here you find the same parameters that you can either define a suppressed required entry or optional entry. It's important to mention that this field status variant here, we need to assign to company codes first before we can use the field status groups within the variants. So meaning that, let's just quickly go to FS00 again. Before we can here under the create bank interest tab, include the field status variants where this field status group G005 and also all the other ones you can see over here are stored, must be assigned to the company code 1000 in my example. And this is done in the customizing. Let me quickly go back. Now we are in the customizing again. Let's go back and back again once more. Here you can see the note called assign company code to field status variant. We click on this one and here you can see that for instance, for our company code 1000, the field status variant 0001 is assigned. And it's also assigned to multiple other company codes. So this is the whole advantage of the field status variant. We can assign it to multiple company codes simultaneously. Now you may ask yourself if we have the posting key field status and the account-based field status, and we set both of them to different values, what would happen then? And this I defined here in the small matrix for you. So let's imagine we have the field header text like that. So this is a free text field that we can utilize during the posting of financial transactions. And now we define the field status both based on the posting key and also the account based field status. So if we set the header text to suppress in the posting key and also to suppress in the account based field status, then it will be suppressed. However, if for instance, we say in the posting key that the header text should be suppressed, but in the account-based field status, we say it's mandatory, it will still be suppressed because from the priority, it will look as follows. Suppressed is more important than mandatory and mandatory is more important than optional. And this way you can read this matrix and thereby find out what value a certain field will receive in the end. Yeah, and this marks the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.